Hello everyone, welcome back to Sliders Podcast, your favourite podcast. You are joined by your host, Tom. Who else we got in the studio today? Who's tough? Find it on the pod, aka the champion. And? We've got Where's Mo? Found him on the pod. <laughs> Yo, so you were looking at me too. <laughs> I was, yeah. You jumped in like you're trying to get in there before me. No, no, no. no, no. But yeah, what are we talking about today, Tom? <laughs> anyway, um, I was watching this Netflix TV show called um, Sex Life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, I I knew I texted you guys in the group chat asking you to watch it. Have you guys watched it? Yeah, I've watched it. Uh, I've heard enough about the you show. You watched the recap, innit? I've watched the recap. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I was just curious about you guys' opinions because um, pretty much a basic um overview of sex life of you guys that haven't watched it. Pretty much, there's this woman um happily married for around just over five years. Let's say let's say that four mm-hmm. five just over five years. Uh, married to a, a lovely lad, great guy, and the deal with them was not like a typical um kind of boring guy. He's like he seems like a genuinely good person. Like even his job is just mad. Like he's out here working. Um, his company. it's televised sexual frustration. That's what it is. Can I? Can I finish? Can I'm, I sorry, finish, can I finish I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry, Tom. You're clearly like, frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> You're already pissed off at the show. Everyone was but frustrated. Much, um, the guy is a genuinely good guy. A job that's um pretty much trying to help people through some. I think um artificial limbs or sort of shit like that. And pretty much she had this um a bit of a wild path, so so to speak. She was um, a lady of the night. Okay. No, Without okay, being wait, a lady wait, of the wait, night. Wait, wait, wait. So she wait. was a lady of the night that was free. She was actually no, she, she was, was promiscuous. She was actually Oh yeah, that that that, that, that works and too. She <laughs> called her a prostitute. She had she had quite <laughs> no. but she's free. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then oh, she, had, she had quite a toxic boyfriend back there. Yeah. But it was like it was it was always exciting. But this guy put her through some shit, bro. As in he put her through some shit. As in the same day she had a miscarriage. My wife went to the studio because my was a record executive. Mm-hmm. My went to the studio after coming back from her getting from her coming back from the hospital after having a miscarriage. Mm-hmm. My man goes straight, man needs to go. Hey, man. To the, the tracks aren't gonna lay themselves. <laughs> but people deal with grief in different ways. Well, way, true, true. Some people dive into work. This woman was obviously she was a state at this point. Yeah, but so was he. <laughs> Big man, so you're leaving your wife to a studio? I love they were They weren't married, though. So they were, like, engaged. Hmm? Um, yeah, I think they were like just that. engaged at the time. But yeah. she, I didn't say they were married, but... Big man, she just lost her kid. But even, so, so but even, but even when he found out about yeah, the kid, he, was, he still wasn't moving correct. Nope. It's a, he, he, had, he still fucked up after, after that. But anyway, he was a toxic guy. But obviously, there was that excitement when it comes to that, her, her sex life and whatnot. Very exciting. Seemed like a very outgoing... Pretty much your typical bad boy type of thing. Yeah. Always wore leather jackets, long flowing hair, and rode a motorcycle. And the scruffy beard type thing. Alright. So I wasn't scruffy. I mean, he was like. No, it was like scruff, wasn't it? You had a scruffy like... beard. <laughs> 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 right. No, yeah. but, um, yeah, pretty much, obviously, years go by, she hasn't seen her. Um, next thing, I th- she just starts feeling like she's missing something in her life. Mm. So she starts writing like this kind of book, um, or manuscript, whatever you want to call no, it. No, no, Tom, I, I, I'll give you the, the abridged version of what Tom's saying. She was plagued by sexual demons, constantly harassing her fam. And the only way she could expel those oh. demons is by removing the, them from her body and onto like <laughs> writing fam. That was the, 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 don't get, don't get me wrong. That was the, the train of mind, didn't it? She thought if I could, you know, take this out and put it on paper, it will leave my body. Okay. But the demons <laughs> were still in her. The demons were there. Okay, stop me. Okay. Um, she felt something was missing from her life sexually. Because the husband, they weren't having, they weren't having sex as much, obviously. But it's like, I think it just happens when after you have kids. It's um, natural. Certain down. It's one of them ones. Um, not six months, but she's like, started missing that old life of hers. Mm. So she started um, trying to, she started expressing herself by writing it down. I don't know where Taff's getting this demon nonsense from. Bro, expressing but, yourself by writing it down, this is what I mean. You're not telling it how it is, Tom. Taff, stop That this. woman, we're talking about a woman that was having flashbacks to different men that she was sleeping with while watching a child do a play, while do cooking, while sitting down waiting for the train, lactating in public. Like, this woman, she was possessed. By the way, she was a stay-at-home mom. But, um... <laughs> that does not redeem her. Well, I wouldn't oh, even call her a stay-at-home mom. I'm, ju- I'm just, yeah. I'm just giving context... <laughs> Okay. We're gonna get into that, but anyway, pretty much she started having flashbacks about different guys she was sleeping with. Mm-hmm. Then eventually, they just became about this one toxic ex. Mm-hmm. All the everything she's writing was about this one guy. 
Then she started, and this guy has now come back into her life. Yeah. And she's out here sneaking around. She hasn't slept with him yet. Yeah. She hasn't slept with him. She slept with him yet. But they were sneaking around and whatnot. And she's moving bare shit. He's spending time with his brother. And the husband eventually, he starts, at first, when she started writing the stuff, he was reading it because he was like, he felt like his wife was unhappy. Mm. So he read it and he was like, okay. He started trying trying to do different things. <sighs> You're skipping over the juicy parts. Tough. Tough. Stop it. You can't go into everything. You stop can't it. go into everything. Well, for who? For who? For who? What, what spoilers? Mean? Listen. It's not about spoilers. Stop. 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 Let, me, let me finish that. You're going on your fucking rampage. Yeah, <laughs> you you to tell him what happened. Let me finish. Tell him what happened when he first read it. When he first read the journal, what did my man do? When you open, you open up a book, yeah, and you find out your missus is writing about all her sexual conquests, yeah, trying to expel her demons, you see that book, yeah, <laughs> and the first thing you should do is toss it in the bin, fam. She's there fantasizing about random guys. You know what this one does? You know what he does? Bro, he pulls out the meat. And this was in the kitchen too. Yeah, so the setting was appropriate. He pulled out the meat and tenderized it, fam. <laughs> Is that what he did? He pulled out the meat and tenderized it. Right. All to those like mad stories. And guess what? He, he hit the laptop and then went off, went off at one, one about his business. Like he didn't do what he did. Nah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> pretty much. They read, he was reading that as well because he was like, he wants to find a way to make his wife happy or make his wife feel a bit more fulfilled. Because mm. she said 85% of what she wants is everything she has. But that 15%, that's, that's what she had. With 15%. 15%. That 15% mm-hmm. left is what she had with her ex. No, no, to, to, so, to be clear, that 15% of what was lacking in life was sex. The sex was that last 15%. The dangerous sex. Them ones there, the active sex. The one that she's having with her ex. Mm. But anyway, her friend's moving like, why are you sneaking around this British? She hasn't slept with him yet, but she's like, her friend, her best friend is like, bruv, do you know how dirty this brother did you? Mm. And you're sneaking around with him. What's wrong with you? And this then, time, that friend that's giving the advice is chopping the ex. Like, you're wrong for this, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. She, no, for, thing is, um, they chopped before they started um, moving, before um, they started sneaking around continuously. I think they only stuck around to the issue once, but they were only talking anyway during that period. But um, the ex asked her first, yo, um, no, sorry, the friend asked Billy. Billy was the wife's name anyway. The friend asked Billy, yo, um, listen, well, go on. She said, yeah, go chop him. Go chop him. She chopped. No, no, she chopped before thing... she got permission. No, she no, chopped no. before she got but permission. The, the worst part, yeah, mm-hmm. was the fact that, um, was the fact that I think the guy FaceTimed Billy when, mm. when he was at the exit yard and the ex went to go change. Okay? But, so the guy FaceTimed Billy, he was like, yeah, so you're going to be chopping your friend. She was like, yeah. He was like, let's see how good you are. Um, my guy says the phone up, pops the phone up. The girl, his friend doesn't see it. So pretty much, my man starts chopping the friend on camera, on FaceTime to Billy. And Billy and now start beating her meat to this guy chopping her friend. You know what, that's deep. Oh, so, uh, Phil. Okay. It's <laughs> all Phil. <laughs> so now she moved a bit booky and the husband's clocking like, bro, what is this woman doing? Like he's starting fucking, he was like, big man, I didn't know you were this unhappy. Because mm-hmm. at first it was like, it wasn't that deep because it was our bare man. But recently, you're talking about one brother. And this is what the husband does. He st- like the, the husband's tapped as well. Like I, all sympathy oh, shot, I had man. for my man left when he Love started me. beating his meat to these stories <laughs> oh, and stalking me. the ex. The husband, this is what he did, yeah. Before the wife clocked what was going on, the husband would uh, snuck into the, um, the ex-boyfriend's workplace, spied on him, preed my man, followed him to the gym, yeah, just so he could get a sneak peek of what he looked like naked so he can see how big his dick was, fam. That's what the husband was on. And then he like snuck back. And the whole time the ex knew that that was the husband. The ex, the ex already knew that that was my man. But he didn't say anything. because like obviously the way Taff phrases stuff, bro. What mm-hmm. do you mean how I'm phrasing you stuff? Phrased very... He stalked him, Tom. <laughs> and you're, you, you, you're leaving out the parts that the, the husband, yeah. He's a good guy. Like, he didn't do anything outrageous. But his actions were not normal. His actions, yeah. They were the actions of a, a man that was a clearly insecure. Man. Because his wife is out here dreaming. About she should have been tossed to the streets from when she came. Straight away. Well, yes. That's as a, soon no. as you find that's that journal. Wait, 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 wait. But it, they've been married for a better time. There's two kids. Oh, there's, there's two, two kids. kids yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't just throw that down the drain. True. Yeah, but true, true, true. Either way, um, they have the whole palaver. Um, the husband, there's this um, what's called one of the investors that are interested in the husband's company. Um, she's out here like, listen, you deserve better. Bro. The husband's like, 
he has the opportunity to cheat on his wife, basically. But he doesn't. He ends up sleeping on that woman's couch. He just doesn't come home because after they had him and... The husband is called Cooper. Yeah, Cooper and Billy had a massive fight. Cooper was caught now stayed at that woman's yard after like a work thing. And he only stayed on the couch. Like they dragged, but he stayed on the couch. He didn't link the girl. He didn't link the woman. But she was like, bro, what are you doing? Like you didn't come home last night. She was treating her husband like a piece of fucking shit. Mm-hmm. She was not treating her husband well. She was moving very mad. And you say whether well, she confused or right, this confusion must come before the marriage. This confusion that cannot be coming after you've had kids with someone. It's mad. Mm-hmm. But either way, um, the husband's like, okay, I, th- I think at some point they're like, okay, let's try to work through this. They're not going to a sex party. Um, the husband's even, the wife is uncomfortable with that, seeing them um, having sex with other people. Then one woman, one of one of their neighbor's wives has now come put the husband's meat in her mouth. She's, she said the husband's eye. The husband's fucking shook at this point, bro. I was laughing. The husband was like, had a like, what the fuck? Am I meant to do something? Like, he's staring at the wife. But anyway, the neighbor neighbor's wife puts the put his ear in the mouth. Then she ends up leaving. Um, no, you're missing the details, fam. You're missing on. the details. Then Hold that, on. Then let, let, let me go back to the incident. Then, they go to the sex party, yeah? And the wife goes to the wife and says, trust me. Turns over to the husband. And then she gets to doing the work, yeah? And these times, the husband and wife are making eye contact. The wife's in tears like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. And the husband goes to the one that's doing business, yeah? Do it. Look in the wife dead in the eyes like he wanted to hurt her, fam. You're, you're, no, you're being very biased. He looked biased. Shook, bro, <laughs> Tom, Man. why did he say do it? There wasn't any timidness in man's voice when he said that. Which, that was a command. He didn't say do it. He did. No, he, he didn't. Did. Did. I don't he know did. what show this brother's watching. I just finished watching it. He said do it. He didn't say do it, sir. <laughs> he Stop said it. do it. I promise you. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, he ends, no, he, he did. anyway, he ends up getting... Her husband ends up getting in the fight that night with... um. The, with that um, the woman that had his meat in her mouth he ends up getting a fight with him he also works with this guy and it's what, also pretty much his best friend because mm-hmm. he wants to pipe, now pipe Billy so like he gets a fight with him and this is very out of character for Cooper mm-hmm. so when they get home that night he was like bruv look at what the fuck you're doing to me my head is scattered man I'm fighting my friend mm-hmm. and this all nonsense that you started even Cooper he was wrong for that for what? He was wrong, was wrong for what he did. Allow Bro, me, you me. finished doing bits with my man's wife. And then when he tries to do... He did finish. He did. And then... He didn't finish. Tough, he didn't fucking finish. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what show this guy was watching. We watched the same Tough, show. No, the thing is, because the wife stormed out. So Cooper actually went after her. So stop no, 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 no. He did. Bro. Oh, dear so, Lord. Wait, wait, wait. Can we finish this up? My finish, you're saying he's not in a mouth. Yes. Cap. Yes. No, he, no, he did. Over that. He did. He did. Not, he did. 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 Which made it very awkward for work the next day. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, Cooper was very wrong for what he did. Because that's not fair. He didn't fit. Anyway, he didn't finish. When Billy stormed out, Cooper ran after her. Because as soon as pretty much um, she put the meat in his mouth, in her mouth, um, she left. Cooper's like, wait, then he had to go. Man, cut. So there were, I don't know where the hell this guy is going. He, fit, he finished from. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I t- wait, what I say? Tuff has watched this, yeah? And he is already key at this point. Whenever Tuff sees someone's a fucking demon, like he's the only thing that has a weapon. Like he, Tuff just thinks the worst of all these characters. They are all shit. But anyway, they all shit. Either way, um, they leave. She has to come back. I was like, all because of this, Cooper's been acting very different now. Because this whole situation has scattered this guy's head. But he's like, look what the fuck you're doing to me. But either way, she's still running around with Billy like a little, like a little. I mean, she's still running around with Billy. Billy is the um, ex-boyfriend. No, Billy's the wife, sorry. Brad is the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, Brad. Anyway, she's still running around with Brad like a little, you know. Anyway. So, um, this guy's texting and texting the one night. He's like, where the fuck are you, bro? Like, it's, it's, like, it's like 12 midnight. She, this woman's not home. She's not answering no text, not answering no calls. Night. She's not answering no text, no calls. He, is, like, she, he assumes that she's with Brad. So he's like, listen, if you do not come home, if you don't answer my text, don't bother coming home. Don't come back here. She has not checked her phone like what? One in the morning. She's like, rah. After spending bedtime with Brad, she's like, rah. Gets home. No one's there. Kids gone. Husband gone. She starts crying, breaking down. I was laughing at this. I was like, seriously, right? 
when we're ex boyfriend for no reason, no self control mm-hmm. behavior stuff. So that's cool. Now the husband came back. He was like, "Oh, I just went to drive with the kids." And she's like, "Oh, I didn't realize what she, what I missed." Then uh, skip a couple of things. They end up having this whole palaver at um, what was it? A par- it was just some event mm. mixer or something. Um, then obviously everyone has now known Billy has now been out for what she's been doing, what she's been on. Mm. She's now he's running around with her ex boyfriend. And now um, thing is Cooper has now decided I stand by my wife, man. Makes this whole um speech, grand gesture about mm. standing by my out, like you know his his gesture is along the lines of like because everything's come out in the air that they've been cheating, seeing other people, sex they. parties, all types of uh, hoo ha. That the, the relationships on the rocks, and he was basically saying to people like, whatever world you live in where marriage is this um Disney fairy tale where everything's perfect, you're wrong. Like me and my wife. What we're going through is very real, and you man are probably going through it too. So no one's in a space to judge. That was his whole speech, yeah. like and the wife, everyone chill. And even the wife did her whole little speech about yeah, staying with her husband and whatnot. Yeah, she did and as well. She was like, "I want to. I'm just living my life. Yeah. Honestly, it's messy, but that's just the way it is." I'm like, she gave a powerful speech on why she wants to stay with this man. And you think at this point, this is at the end of the series, by the way. We just skipped, we skipped yeah. over quite a bit, but this is the end of the series. So she and now are thinking, okay, she had some character development. Cap, cap. She has now decided to go, at the very end, she's now decided to go back to Brad to sleep with him. See, I'm not leaving my husband. This chick is not going to start with some man. And these times, while she was on her way to Brad, trotting along, our guy Cooper had a track, fam. He was watching that fool do all the nonsense. Wow, and there was a big smirk on her face. I, I'm not leaving my husband, but I still want to do bits. This Bro, nothing. Cooper knows exactly what you're doing, fam. Is, Cooper, Cooper. Um, she thinks she's coming back home to a happy marriage. Because they know, they know where each of them are, um, by looking at the phone, because they have the mm. whole, um, find my phone thing, I guess. Yeah. So, now Cooper is now seeing that she's at a certain place, and she, and he knows where Brad lives now. So one of them was like, bro, Cooper at one point was even ready to walk away. He was like, listen, if you love her, you're going to take it seriously. It's not just her, you have to take care of the kid. Mm-hmm. And he actually talked about, he was like, yes, I do love her. And he's like, I was with her. But she was then, then Brad at this point um she already rejected Brad. This woman was messed up the whole fucking series. Absolute it's even confusing to explain because she was actually a mess. Mm. Unless you watch it, it's kinda hard to understand if we're explaining it. Mm. But she was a fucking mess. Now, that's just been twenty minutes of exposition. And all I have if to you're say still here, well, you better put some money in that Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> now all, <laughs> all, I, have, all I have to say after this is after God, fear women. Mm-hmm. After God. Queer women. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to say. Tough. You but can go where, on the do, now. where do we start, fam? Where do we go start? Rampage, we need to start at. Um, I think Mo. We, we were saying earlier <laughs> that bro, she had too much time on her hands. That's the only reason the situation happened. She's not a stay at home mom. What do you mean? She is. She's away from home. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be in the bro. streets and stay at home mom, bro. If you're not taking care of the household, but you don't work. What do you do? You go to the streets, fam. To do what, though? You know, to gallivant, taste different meats, <laughs> continental <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Bro, the issue is, there's multiple issues. But some of the main ones is that she's letting her husband, and, she, and they both agree to this, so this is fair. Mm-hmm. He'll be the breadwinner, yeah? Yeah. And he'll make bare peas. But if she'll stay at home, take care of the kids. Mm-hmm. They have two of them. But there's a nanny. There's a nanny. When so, not, when not, when home, I thought. And the nanny is used for date nights. Like the nanny, like okay, so serves not, the purpose not just na- not not just date nights. Yeah, not just date nights. The nanny is used for when she wants to go off sneaking around. You know, not, well, not whenever, trying to get whenever caught. Brad's at work, she, nanny's just there just to help out. I guess mm. that's what's wrong. It's wrong, bro. Like you can still have a life outside of your children when you're a stay at home mom, but if you're using that life. That's a good life that you want. If you're going about beating bread. It's dog. You have to it's put dog. Down. Fam, and another thing, yeah, you keep saying Francesca would be a good wife. Bro, she wouldn't. She wouldn't be a good I wife. I said for... she'd be good for Brad. She would the so thing what's is, called Sir Cooper, sorry. She wouldn't be good for Cooper in a sense that in relationships, yeah. Well, what I clocked was you you if you have kids, anyway, in relation to you have kids, like if they, if Cooper didn't have kids, yeah. Francesca would be good because they both work in in a job that requires like seventy plus hours. Okay, you get me. 
and they're both in very high positions. So them leaving, it's a big deal for the company and a big deal for their income mm. too. Yeah, but it doesn't mean they have to leave though. No, because he can still, they can still both be making their money. But then it's a similar situation where, oh fuck, yeah, no, like, no, wait, his wife can take care of the kids sometimes. They split. No, fair enough. If they're divorced, but fair enough. But thing is, the wife will also have to go find a job. So who's going to be watching the kids? No, yeah, like, sure, even no, thinking, no, but hold on. First, number one, the wife isn't uneducated. She has a PhD. Yeah. No, she's uneducated. She's a lecturer. She's uneducated. What, what are you talking about? She is, she's uneducated. She has a PhD. <laughs> she has in a what? PhD. In what? Psychology. Oh, yeah, yeah, psychology. Psychology. What was she using that psychology? A lecturer. The gaslight. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. She she was lying to her husband, bro. She was lying. Tough. She enough. was lying, lying. Like every single thing. It was one of them ones that do you know the ones where your friends have to now check you mm. when you're moving with your partner? It was disgusting. If your friends have to now check you, that's number one. But now your friends, she now trying to incorporate her friends into the lie. Mm-hmm. She did. Her husband saw through. The friend's like, listen, I don't fucking care. Leave me out of your shit. You're on your own now. Bruv. Yo, yo, it was bro. Like, DP, you're, you're, th- you're driving your friends to say, big man, stay over there now. Because you're, you're, you're too messy now. All because simple, simple self-control you don't have. And what was she thing doing? Is, you're, thing is, in my opinion, you're allowed desires. Fair enough. You can work through them. You can work with your partner. Bro. Hold on. You can work with your partner to, like, you know, kind of sort your shit out, if mm. you know what I mean. Oh, maybe, maybe therapy might help you get to a fucking conclusion. She chose not, she didn't choose to do it, to carry a, you know, conduct herself in a, in a good way. She now started to start lying of sneaking around with that man, her ex-boyfriend that moved very mad. Moved very, very mad. Wiggity, wiggity. Bro, as a human being, she was just corrupt, fam. She needed divine intervention, <laughs> like. Because honestly, it's actually mad. There's, there's the quote in it where it's like, you know, it's not even a quote, like, don't lose everything you have for shit you don't have. Like, it's mad. That small 15% of sex life that could have been developed. And uh, like we said before, the guy was trying to develop it, but it wasn't enough for her, fam. It was always, the grass was always greener somewhere else. And that destroyed her. And another thing about self-control, this where all oh, the show is you watching this woman <laughs> let her desires destroy her. Facts. That's all you're doing. Like, Facts. if you without self-control... Their desires are just gone, fam. That's the one sensible thing you said tonight, bro. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth, fam. This woman <laughs> had demons plaguing her. No control. And the thing is, this Brad guy, let's be honest, he wasn't even moving to her like that. All of this came from within. The ex, he saw a leak in the dam. Uh, and he made the hole bigger. But the dam was already leaking. Nah, he was, he was the, dam, the cracks were already there. There was chinks in the armor. Like, it was peak. <laughs> Brad just took advantage. And the thing is, oh. you know this isn't just a last point of view. Because if when the show came out, if you took to Twitter, mm. no one saw sense in this woman's movements, bro. Mm. She no, was confused. No one saw sense. So this isn't just like, oh, these are just guys. They, mm. yeah, they, yeah. No, no. If go watch the series, no one saw sense in this woman's movements at all. Mm. I don't even know, bro. Do you guys think that in, because uh, like, going back to the Francesca thing and uh, uh, Cooper, like, like I said, they're both high earners, busy. So in a world where they had kids, Ideally, wouldn't they, would the nanny not be raising the, the youths, fam? No, because they, they'll, they'll, they'll come, yeah. they'll come home. They would come home from work, bro. No, but it's like, no, no. no. The thing is, Brad doesn't come home at night. He's not. He do, he's not coming home at fucking ten p.m. Sam. Mm. If you actually watch, so he wasn't coming. He's like, it was like a nine to five, nine to six type of. Thing. No, but no, but still, even still, ideally, the both, both the parents are doing nine to six. Even then, one of them can scale back hours. None of them has to completely quit work. In a job like that, where you're the top. People. The what's called partners. Thing is, mm. oh, this, this thing. Brad was such a good guy. Like my man was about to make partner because mm. obviously he was looking for companies to invest in his company about for the um amputation and whatnot. So my guy was about to make partner. You know, like bro, that fight, that fight with his friend boy because obviously works in company. Fucked them up, bro. They said, well, mm. man, we can't make, can't make you partner anymore. Mm. Like bro, like, this whole palaver just yeah. fucked up. And not even to sound mad, it all happened because she had too much time on her hands, fam. Like, when you're at home doing nothing, all you're doing is just plotting. Straight plotting, fam. <laughs> just bare time to just plot and look for things not to be happy. The reason the why the relationship went mad from my perspective is because my man was busy working, so he didn't notice that the sex life was slipping. But the, her, she's at home all day taking care of the kids. So the sex life is what she's looking forward to. 
and he doesn't have time. He's mentally exhausted. All he wants to do is watch football. One time they were beating, the TV was in the back, some people were scoring goals. His mind wasn't there, fam. You get me? <laughs> he like, it's just peak, but it is what it is. Like, in terms of being a housewife, I don't know, man. You want to be house husband, but when your wife's tired. Well, Mo wants to be a house husband. Yeah. Oh, okay. When your wife's tired, yeah. And you're there talking about you need to chop. The issue is, is that it's not even that they weren't having enough sex. The sex was it, it was the sex itself. Filter, There's no filter, sex that filter. man that that Cooper could give her that she would hold on. No, more first of all, that's true. Mo, first of all, no, no, first, <laughs> no, first of all, they were having they were having less sex. Like they, they yeah, but even if it's, they did have a but you can increase but yeah. you can increase the amount of sex you have. But is that going to satisfy her? The Literally quality, not. the quality wasn't <laughs> quantity there. and quality, fam. Said, the dominance, the quality wasn't the dominance. There. And sometimes it's not even from. I bet she could be getting the same dick. Sometimes you know, actually, let me, actually let me let me let me reword that. Let me reword that. Yeah, <laughs> because it's not like sex is just about physicals. It's feelings. It's about the emotional. So, feelings. so it's the feelings that are attached to the to the act while you're doing it. Mm. Yeah. So if your let's say they're both doing the same physical thing, yeah, mm. they could still be having very different emotional outcomes on her. No, but that's your husband. Cooper, no, but to be fair, yeah, but bro, not, yeah, that's your no, husband. No, but to be fair, it was, it was one of them was about what, how, what they're doing made her feel. Mm. If you watch the series, mm. it was like because remember when um I think before he confronted her about the thing, I think there was that thing where he was like, okay, um. Um, I think there were he she wrote something in her book and he was like, Yeah, I wouldn't use his dick. He did the same thing yeah. in, same thing in the kitchen. And she enjoyed it. You saw you saw what she enjoyed it. So mm-hmm. then what's wrong with it then? So it's one of them was like, but that wasn't him, but it was like Yeah. Again, I think they tried doing a different thing that he did. Because yeah. they snuck into someone's swim backyard swimming pool. Um her, her and her ex boyfriend. So um, what's called Cooper and Mal tried to do the same thing. They get caught bro. It was all for So wait, so basically she's a child. That's what you're telling me. She's a child. Bro. She's a child. She wants to basically, there's people that are in uni now, your uni fam, that are just walking around, creatures of the night, men and women, yeah? And this is the, this is what the majority of people would believe is your time to do it fam. You got people that have sexual demons and people that are sexual demons fam, that fucking <laughs> run around in white hoodies <laughs> and basketball shorts. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you got these people that live in it. Don't say no. <laughs> Hold the fuck, give me this shit. Hold the fuck up, man. What? No, we're not gonna just stalk as you call me a fucking sexual demon. I think call you anything. What's wrong with you? Yo, did anyone hear me say Tom say? He I say have witnesses. Name, he described, he he described my clothing items. What do you Tom, mean? what are you talking about? He just said a white hoodie and basketball shorts. Yeah, I could have been describing the KKK fam. <laughs> that's on you bro okay that's on, that's on you bro okay okay so as i was prick. saying these people are out here lurking yeah and what the majority of society will say oh. the age for that is from 18 to 25 that's what most people agree with like the days to be creeping about having you know doing stuff in alleyways in parks in all creeps and crevices yeah is that's the age range. It depends who you're speaking to. But well, the much. issue with this woman, yeah, is that she said, I'm done and wanted to grow out of it. Yeah. As to what some people would say and say, I want to get married, settle down and leave that game. life behind me. She tapped out of the game. This was a woman that what that would that didn't want to let go of those activities. She wanted to have that in her. Th- who knows when she wanted to have that? At 60, fam, you're doing the same stuff. Still, like mess, going to still mess around with your toxic boyfriend at 60. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, we don't know how long you want to hold on to that. You can still go to these ways once in a while. Fair enough. Mm. Thing is, I, for me, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't do it, but it's like, if, even if you're older, you still want to go out and party. Fair enough. But the thing is, and it wasn't like you were confused when you got married either. Mm. You weren't. This is all come later in life. Yeah. He's like, big man, you're not at the stage where you can start moving like you're confused anymore. Mm. I can't be doing this shit no, no more. No, you can still you be confused. Yeah, but her actions are just out of order. No, no, no. Oh, what's called? Be... You're meant to conduct, even if you get confused, there's ways you can conduct yourself that won't hurt the people around you. Mm. You, She was very selfish in the way she conducted herself. Yeah. She wanted to, you know, satiate her needs. Did you but say the woman was selfish? She, yeah. Okay. Continue. I it's think Mo just wanted to hear that. <laughs> no, the way she was, no, the way she was moving, she had no consideration for how this would affect her husband or her family. Because things, even if it was just her husband, it was still, she's still moving mad. But she has kids to think about now as well. What she's doing isn't just gonna fuck up her her, her marriage. It's gonna fuck up her family, bro. 
and she's still moving crazy. Let me tell you this. I think it's Let me tell no you matter this. what, if you're a parent, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, when you're making music in life, I swear you're meant to put your kids first. What no, you're no, 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 no. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Run that back, run that back. We don't, we don't. Uh, I'm taking this from the book of Toxic Tom Chronicles, uh, chapter 2, verse 7. Yeah. Toxilations. Yeah. Toxilations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Focus on yourself. Mm. All right. That's, what, Tom, she, that's what that's Tom what tells me. Focus but that's on, on the streets, Tom. This is on the streets. Tap. She's married. She never left the streets no, behind. No, nah, I'm not. No, when you get when you get married, you're leaving the streets behind. In my no, but opinion, she didn't leave. No, him. thing is, no matter everything I say, applies to when you're on the streets. And I don't, I don't, I don't mention the shit. Marriage is a whole different thing. That's a serious thing. And kids, you're responsible for these people's lives. Mm-hmm. The way you behave will affect the way these kids grow up. She did not care about the youths, bro. Thing is, so she was a good mom. So, so, but as far as um how she treated her relationship in the marriage. She was, she, because yeah, that situation. shit, because how, how you behave in a marriage will affect the way your kids are raised. Mm-hmm. It yeah, really yeah, will. It's not, it's not so, it's one of them was that like, big man, you could have gone to therapy, could have fucking ki- told your husband well, how you're feeling. No, but then what's that going to achieve though? Does that give her the 15% though? No, you, so I'm she, just playing devil's advocate. She might, I, I hate this. No, because the thing is, they might have been able, she might have been able to find a way to get that 15% no. without, without stepping out it's on the husband. Possible. It's not possible. I think it's possible. It's not possible. It's it is not possible. No, Tom. It is no, possible. The way she wanted this 15%. The this 15% possible, yeah. had her in a chokehold, fam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this 15% was not letting go of her. No, no, Just Tom. that tiny little. Tom, CP, but the thing is, is that 15% worth losing that 85? It's not. It's not. No, it's but not, no, but bro. These, these are options, though, because for one, she could do open relationship, maybe, if people would allow it. No, the fuck you wouldn't. Which, which he shouldn't. They tried it. They tried it and, and she didn't love it, it too and much. It, and it didn't go too well. She didn't like that sex party. She could go to Brad mm-hmm. and hope that he can provide her their 85%, which is, you know, I wouldn't put my faith in some some dude that, you know, was doing trash after I had a miscarriage. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's an L. I'm or, doing trash when he found out you were pregnant. You know what she was trying to do? It's like this other Netflix TV show said uh, called She's Gotta Have It. She wanted, the how the show works is there's one woman, three guys that she's seen. One guy is the finance guy, right. has his money together. Mm-hmm. The second guy is the guy with the looks, handsome, great in bed. And the third guy's for banks. Like he's a joke man, good time, all that stuff. So she wanted all three of those things, but that she couldn't find in one individual person. Yeah. You get me? That's what she was trying to apply to her life. To have a I generally thought the whole time I was watching this show, I was like, this is going to end with the husband saying, all right, cool. I can't satisfy my missus. So you know what, Brad, let's make a little negotiation. She gets to come to you to satisfy her sexual needs, that little 15%. And then I get the rest of the 85%. But then I didn't why thought would it was going to end like that. Want that. It's actually stupid. It's bro. disgusting. No, wait, wait, let's actually think of an actual situation. So how do we actually break it down? Like, what's the actual solution? Into how this ends. Like, Divorce. Divorce. That's what you're saying. Divorce. Divorce. Needs to leave Divorce. Or an exorcism. Either one, that woman is getting... Listen, God needs to touch her. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's no help in some people. There is no help in some people. Right. Some people are more... Some people are more... Trouble I than believe that. everyone can be nah. redeemed. Some Even people, her. Some pe- <laughs> no. Nah. When it comes to this marriage, big man, some people are more trouble than they're worth. Serious? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. True. I'm not going to lie. She's not worth the trouble. The only reason it will be acceptable for this guy to actually try and work through this. After this whole palaver, mm. and she starts to go back to... Brad, the only reason it would be worth saving the marriage is because of the fucking kid. Mm. But I'm not gonna lie, I think he can raise t- the kids can still be raised well. I think if they try, the kids still, can still be raised well, and my man can still divorce this woman. I can't lie. No, Cooper deserves better. He did. He, he did. deserves better. And I'll tell you this now: Cooper's a good man because I would have let her do a little thing, yeah, get my evidence, and go to the divorce office. <laughs> Because you know how the, the divorce people, they always do men dirty, fam. Man said so I'm just saying, if this goes into divorce, Cooper is very likely to get screwed over statistically. So I'm just saying, if Cooper gathers his evidence and makes sure that... Because the whole relationship falls because of her, fam. She was the weak link in the relationship. It wasn't mutual. It wasn't anything. Mm-hmm. So all I'm saying is, if they get divorced, it has to be on Cooper's side, like on who's winning, custody of the kids... You were talking about a nymphomaniac that's out loose on the streets like, <laughs> that doesn't want to take care of her kids. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> we need to we need oh, to build okay. a case against it. I think that's but what the thing is. To do. And the thing is, Brad is even saying, "Yes, I'm not the same guy. Um, I want what's it called? Um, I want to marry you." He's like, "Listen, even no matter what the fuck he says, this brother has proven himself unstable." Mm-hmm. He's he has he's an unhinged. He's an unstable. Bro. No, I wouldn't even say that, but like lifestyle wise, or the way he treats you emotionally, everything is fucking unstable. Yeah. But now because he says he wants to do something different, 
I want to believe him. I can't listen. Cool. I hope I hope Brad I hope Cooper wins the fucking game. How do you think it ends, Mo? Do you think there's healing? Okay, let, let's even paint the picture where you find the journal. Where do you man go from the journal? Where do I go from the journal? I'm going to church. <laughs> the whole family is going to church. What was that a road trip? We were in Tough. today. What was the last time you were trying to do? You have been to church. That would be the this you is have been returned. The prodigal son will return. You have a big trip in years, years will return. Man said we will return. The whole family is going to church. <laughs> the whole family is going to church. Man said when he sees that church, we will find God that day. We will find God that day. We will find God that day. That is disgusting, fam. But what are you doing, Tom? You find the journal. You read it. I'm printing it off. I'm sitting there. <laughs> we'll go through this shit one by one, bro. That is that is Africa. That's Nigerian. Page by page, we'll read this shit together. We'll read it together. <laughs> no, I, I want like think about we'll So, so when his canal went into your your tunnel, what was going on there? Canal went to his tunnel. Anyway, oh, I'm just. Gonna... <laughs> We're gonna have to cut that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what when that his means. river went into your canal. No? I could have just said train into a tunnel, bro. Train into a tunnel. Really could have. Like, that was too wrong. Anyway, well, something was, I'm sitting there now, we have, we're going gonna, we're gonna to have to talk about this. We'll have to sort this out right here and the, right there and then. We'll sort it out. We're, so, we're getting a solution to this problem. So, it's, you're just going to keep it until no therapy, just you two. No, no, no. No, the thing is, if we conclude together that, okay, maybe we should go therapy to sort this out, then fair enough. But we'll have to talk about what the fuck we're going to do. Because this is obviously an issue if it's kind of, if, you, if it's that, you're building that have that much pent up energy you're not having to express mm. it by writing it down it's like you have to let us somehow it's obviously a fucking issue she's mm. a psychologist fam so a PhD. she so, should have known better she's not even an author and she's writing books yeah I'm so sorry I'm telling you if she published that I thought she was going to publish it as well in she my head I was like she's, she's writing it but either way it's one yeah. of the ones I'd f- tell her big man if we, we'll have to sit down talk and sort it out if you don't want to fucking find a solution then we're going to have problems I promise you I love to communicate but for me it's over it's over, isn't it? <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's divorce. Collect your everything. Mo, you're, to go your fans. kids. No, no, you know it. Tom, I'm doing this for my kids. <laughs> they don't want to. They don't want to see what what could happen if I stay. <laughs> no, let's let's be serious. Let's be serious. <laughs> I'm done. Would I'm you rather done. have an unhappy household or one that's just separated? Exactly, bro. Trust a me. loveless household, yeah? Love where the mother and father... Know, wait, 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 wait. So let me break it down for you from my no, perspective. No, 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 no. I'm not saying... No, but we're talking about this. I'm a, we're not talking about what we do in keeping situation. We're talking about what if this is your wife. Yeah, this is... Yes, this is stop. Stop. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Listen to me, listen to me. It would never be the same. Because Billy is a senseless woman. So we're talking about your wife has sense. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, Billy has to be... I'm thinking of this as if this is... I'm Cooper. Mm. If I'm oh, I was this, thinking about this. Even if it's me, it's even if it's me, mm. and this is my wife, yeah, and my wife has, you know, after years of marriage, two mm. kids down the line, <laughs> yeah, she is. I'm working from home. I'm. I'm not the house husband. She's the housewife. So everything I've wanted has not come to pass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm working in big hours in office yeah. <laughs> to make money. She's a stay at home mom, and she's never written a book in the day of her life. <laughs> Last time she was doing short stories, it was, was primary school, fam. Or secondary school for GCSE. Well, English. big writing. Yeah, big trust writing. Me. Now she's down the to JK doing, Rowling, bro. Now yeah. she's doing <laughs> JK Rowling. <laughs> fam. Now she's even doing books, Fifty Shades of Grey, for yeah. her old flames. I'm telling you, there's no need for me to, to go to church <laughs> or to sit down with her to discuss where, where can we go from here. I know where we're going from here. <laughs> it's the local court office. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's done. It's done. It's done. Yeah. It's done. And that's respectfully, bro. We can end it amicably. <laughs> Is that respectfully? <laughs> you can just be like, see, I'm not giving you what you want. Yeah. I can't give you what you need, clearly. We'll find it elsewhere, bro. Mm. Yeah, it's, we'll just, we'll have to end it on happy, on happy I'm months. not going to lie. No, because thing is, for me, I'm like, whatever I'll do, like, in my, or just marriage, and even just my relationship, will always change once kids are involved. Bro. What do you, what no, do no, you no, 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 no. Uh, Hold on. Divorces are always messy. That's number one. No, no, this one. Well, the way Mo described it was nice and neat, fam. He bro, took the dog. Well, you think that wife is gonna take the divorce like now, bro? How is she not gonna take it lightly, fam? I have evidence, <laughs> fam. I have evidence. No, but think, no, but think, no the wife. First of all, 
I guarantee, I guarantee you, the wife is not taking that divorce lying down. She'll take the divorce yeah, however she, she wants to take, take it. <laughs> you, listen, no, 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 no. She can take it. She's not taking that divorce lying down. The divorce is no, being held. divorce being made. That's creating animosity amongst parents, which again affects the kids. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you don't mind. You man don't deep how 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 no, this will no, fuck with your youth. No, but just, no, Tom, this will only it will only be messy if you fight back. <laughs> yes. Put your hands up and say, take You've been you caught. Want. You take what you want because either way, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to get shaken. I'm, I'm keeping the bad, house. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I'm not divorcing and leaving the house. Bro, You're the one who stepped out no, and did wrong. No, the only issue, the only issue where there could be animosity yeah, is if I put up a fight. You know, a fight which which would be fair in, my, in you know in people's opinions to put up a fight and say, hey, 50 50 you get each get a decent amount. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't care. She can try and ruin me. Let her try and ruin me, fam. I've got, I still got a job at the end of the day. Whether mm. or not she's getting alimony is calm, but she has a I'm, job too. She's not unemployed. She, she is not, unemployed. She's not, no, currently unemployed, but she can get a job. She can get a job. She was a professor. She's again, an educated PhD. woman. PhD. Yeah. Educate, no, sh- stop with this education, man. <laughs> stop she, stop she has with. a fucking. What was she doing when she was getting educated? Lecturing. No, no, wait, wait. What was she doing when she was getting educated? That's when she was getting. When, that's when she was typing it right, bro. There we go. When she was typing all sorts of man them, that's when she was getting a degree. Bro, yes no? Tom gets a degree too and he's on the road. Stop it! Hey, trust Stop me. it! No, 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 no. Hold no. oh, the fuck up! This is the last time you're calling me out on this damn nervous WhatsApp. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking tired. No, no, no. For the viewers. For the viewers. Hey. No, for the viewers hey. Me and Taff are on the same shit. So take that as you will. No, Guys, no, no, no matter what Taff is about me, Taff's on the same shit. I've never branded Taff's myself. on the same shit. No, no, no. Because Taff, I don't want to hear Tom's getting an education where he's still doing this. Shut up! That doesn't fit Listen, my brand. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not some, <laughs> I'm not, not, my, I'm my not some fucking manslag, bro. I don't know. I'm not a fucking sexual demon. I'm not some manslag. I'm family me. friendly. You are XXX rated. <laughs> <laughs> you are hey, disgusting. Like, but like I'm saying, no, but people like Tom get degrees. No, so no, stop no, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stop it. I swear to God. I don't fucking lose it. I'm fucking lose it, man. It's true. It's your brand. It's your no, brand. No, stop brand. it. Listen, man's waves are moving wicked now. It's your brand. Your brand. Your brand. Wicked, you know? it's your brand. No, at the most, all right. Man, say, allow me. It's your brand. I'm allow sorry. me. I'm sorry, it's your brand. Oh, you're a fucking prick. I'm sorry. So what I was saying, Taff, is yeah, people like um, that people that wear people white like hoodies Billy. and basketball shorts. Oh, and <laughs> people like people like Billy. People like Billy. People like Billy. Yeah, they can get degrees, and she got a degree. But what she was doing when she was, when she was getting a degree, yeah, yeah, piping bare bare people. That determines who she is now. And so when she stopped working, when she got married and shit, yeah, she put her degree to the side. And she also had to. She graduated time, though. Yeah, she graduated. Yeah. But she put a degree to the side and she also put her promiscuous herself to the side. Yeah. No, like she, said, I, no I don't think she put a degree like to the side. Said, she got bored. When I say. I don't, don't know. I don't think. I don't think she put. I think that happened when she had a kid. Oh, when she had a kid. That's when she I stopped think, working. I think that's when. Like, that's when Fair she enough. Left. But when, mm. she's, when, she, when she had a kid, she stopped working. Yeah. Fair enough. So it's been a while. And the, the first kid is five years old. So it's been a while since she's, you know, been <laughs> working. So what I'm saying is, it's been a while since she's had to put her mind to work. Oh, properly. come on. And as soon as she, you know, as soon as, you know, she gets a bit bored, uh-huh. you know, so the promiscuous thoughts come back. All I'm saying is... She'll revert. She'll, she'll relapse. She'll revert. She'll relapse. She'll relapse. But the demons never left her, bro. They were always there. They were always there. Like, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll say this now. I'm worried about you. Hmm, Tom. I'm telling Tom, you better learn. You, I would, whatever demons you have, you lay them to rest when you leave this these grounds. Tough, I'll, tough, when I'll, you leave uni, tough, these I'll, are hallowed grounds. Tough, tough, <laughs> I will lock off this fucking podcast right now. Say another goddamn thing with your trimless self. With your fucking trimless self. I'm here to find redemption with you niggas, bro. I'm fuck trying you. to help you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, fuck you, Tom. <laughs> fuck you. You gallless you. But I'm just trying to give you man advice. You gallless you. And no I'm game. To, it's, that's not my brand. No game, no girl, no nothing. That, that came from, that, that's my brand. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm brandy. not, I'm not a fucking <laughs> sexual demon, bro. <laughs> I, I have self control, bro. No, but what I'm saying is, you're, that's, it goes back to the age, the age range thing. Not to make this about Tom, but if, if Tom, <laughs> 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 but like you're saying 18, Tom's in an acceptable period right now no 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 exactly you're doing it now when people still find it cute when you're <laughs> out there <laughs> in the working world after uh, you've done your army tours fam and then you come and then you can't be doing that stuff bro imagine you're in the army <laughs> fantasizing <so> about chopping <laughs> and this time you're in the line of duty and you have flashbacks of random girls you're beating in uni fam <laughs> he's not wrong he's not wrong <laughs> I'm telling you they're demons 
you are plagued. Not you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I have guys, guys, I have self control. Hey, man, no one's accusing you of anything, fam. You, you were just the next available example. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna lie, I'm recording the second episode today. I'm flamed. <laughs> if not, tough, nah, I'm on smoke now. <laughs> right, just, be, just to round it down then. Um, another thing I got from the show was... Um, just funny as well. Tough's calling me a sexual demon. Tough put his life on the line for Chris. Oh, so Lord. Man was at number Lord. 10 chops to one. I love the sexual demon. Oh, God Lord. forbid I got into a fight you over know. a girl. Man has 10 chops to one of him. And man's out here... Sitting Toby's like, actually you corrupt. Know you know Toby's what? Actually you, know what? you know what? We're not doing this. <laughs> I, I, I thought saw the story coming out. <laughs> Toby's actually corrupt. As you corrupt. kept on chatting. <laughs> As soon as you just kept on chatting, I just want to say coming out. No, Tom's actually corrupt. You are actually corrupt. You're corrupt. You're corrupt. So continue. I was trying to finish on the whole someone, something sound, something little. All I'm saying, God forbid 10 chaps come to me. God forbid. Okay, so going back to that whole letting go of your past life or your younger days, do you guys think you're ready for the settling down and the responsibility that comes with having children, a wife, a house, and just have the responsibility that comes with having a family, essentially. What, no? Not now, but like, do you think you'll be ready to lay everything down, all the free time, any time you're playing like video games or or like just ready for that responsibility? Do you think you'll be ready to put everything down? At some point, I guess. You sound like a biddy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, at really? some point yeah you sound like the wife no I'll be ready at some point like big man big boy last out of forever man. what about you sir? I've accepted that yeah when will you stop putting your life on life of pumps <laughs> when will you stop when <laughs> will it end Tom when will it end you're corrupt Tom <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not commenting on anything I'm not commenting on anything I'm like, this point you're I just corrupt people, this, this point I have to put on Instagram you're just corrupt no. you're just yeah, corrupt this one, this one. I would never upload it I'm not involved I'm not involved I'm, I'm not involved <laughs> But this audio file will get sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tend to this no, one person. No, a prick, bro. <laughs> I'll tend to this person. So he can be a sexual demon when I start talking. No one about... called you a demon, Tom. We had to we had to give people a mental image for our audio why listeners. Why did you just use me? You're here. You're here. You're a prick, bro. Listen, no. Tough. Ta- ta- I'm supposed to go. I'm not, I'm not. And plus, it takes a demon to catch a demon. You know what, Tough? We're not recording next week if you cut, if you cut <laughs> shit out. We're not recording next week. I'm not letting you man into the yard. I won't, I won't cut anything. I won't We're cut not recording... Anything. But as far as um that responsibility, um, I don't know, man. I think. Nah, I think I I know that I'll be. I, I don't have much to let go of, fam. So I'm calm, like you know, moving That's into the family life and da da da. And for me, I don't think I'd have that regret of like you're forty and then because uh, some people might be in that one where it's like they're in the family now, but now they're regretting that they didn't do bare bits da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. and now they're trying to ruin everything just because they want to catch something they believe they'll like or enjoy and screw themselves over because that's another thing as well it can happen when you don't it just as like as it can happen when you do mm. that's true uh well have you ever thought about that about uh you can think behind or again thing yeah you're trying to take everyone to hell fam. <laughs> what type of question <laughs> is that asking a married man maybe he's ever thought about Nice. On camera with microphones. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the thing I think about is, I think said in 4K. and that's like in general in the future, mm-hmm. is loss of like personal autonomy. Like, when do you like? When is your life no longer yours? When you have kids, fam, yeah. you can't walk yeah. out the house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like if when you move in with your girlfriend, even then you probably can't leave the house or come back anytime. Yeah. But there's still you're an adult. She's an adult. Yeah. When you have kids, yes, yeah, you can't leave them at home legally by law. What you're doing is like breaking the law, leaving them on their ones. So already you can't maneuver how you want exactly. to do it. For the next 18 years, fam, the kid has to come first. Yeah. See, Taking kids on planes as well is mad. Like people that take their babies on planes, I hate you lot. Like you're actually dumb. I don't, I don't. I'm saying they're on a flight band till five. If you can manage the kid, you can manage the kid. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But just don't let your baby it be It depends on your youth, bro. I'm not yeah. going to tell you. Some babies are just quiet. So it's not that but then the thing is, yeah, I was always like, a baby uh, Tom. Tom. No, no, some babies are quiet. No, some of the quiet. I was really quiet. Because my mom, my mom told me I was quite a quiet kid. Uh, as well when I started walking when I got a bit active. I wasn't crying, but mm. I was running around everywhere. Yeah, I was crawling up and down the aisles, fam. Like, you weren't walking. Because think my mom... No, no, I was too scared to walk. Uh, 
<laughs> man's been a bitch since birth. <laughs> I grow. Man's been a bitch since birth. <laughs> no, I was aware of my situation. Say what you want. Even as a child, I knew I was too high up to be doing nonsense. <laughs> no, but what's my, nah, for me, like, because my mom never, my mom used to always wonder, why do these people have these leashes on their youth? Because mm. she never needed it for my older sister. Mm. Then when she started taking me out when she was going shopping, that's when she cried. This is mm. why they need it. No, nah, but leashes, they're just, I me, mean, it's just too much. No, it's nah, not. Bruv, it is. not. It if, is. If you have a kid that, like, cause the thing is, when you're out, you can't carry, you can't have your kids in your hands at all times. Yeah. yeah. You need friends. to make sure your kid is with, with fucking reach. Yeah. Imagine kid? going into, <laughs> when, when, when imagine going to Asda with... and like your youth just runs around and doing who knows what. Then you haven't trained that kid properly, bro. What do you mean training properly? It's a They're a child. You. Yeah. Bro, I, I used to I'm go into Asda five, and run straight to the, this like the two, two, put them in a pram. Can you walk? Can you walk with you? Mm, I think so. But you can't walk efficiently. You get tired too quickly. No, but some can no, walk. I'm pretty sure you can. Not, you, some of them can walk. You can walk, but you don't have no, endurance. You can, you can start. No, you can start. You can start running around too. Yeah, but around. like we're talking about, if you you can't take him on a day out, these men are not a fucking, not a fucking marathon. Bro, they need baby no, Tom, trust me, they don't have the kids. They don't have the the stamina to be walking around town. There's, there's like, prams for a reason. I don't see the issue. Yeah, they they're helping the pram. That's why you see sometimes like a kid will have a pram. They'll walk for a bit, but then they'll get back in the pram. Yeah, get back in the pram. Yeah. Yeah. But either way. Tough Cross's life at risk of pubs. Okay, I mean, uh, I, I didn't want to end it like that. I just wanted yeah. to say, whatever demons people carry with them, just expel them, fam, before it's too late. Because, you know. And another little quote I want to leave you lot with um, is, if you look at what you have, you'll always have enough. And if you look at what you don't have, you'll never have enough. That's my message. Fuck you, That's sir. pretty good, dude. Mm. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll just say the grass is not always green on the other side. Nope. Um, it's just the lighting. <laughs> it's just the lighting. <laughs> ah, that was again very, very nice of you, sir. So, have you got anything insightful to say? Tough's a fucking prick. Never listen to this guy. Not the usual branding of stay toxic, my friend. <laughs> yes, trust me. <laughs> you actually just. If anything, I did good promo you for you, Tom. That's what this has been. It. Listen, stay toxic, my friends. There we go, guys. As long as you're married. Do whatever the f- I, as long as you're not married or have no kids, do whatever the fuck you want. Mm. If you have kids or you got married, you better pattern the fuck up. Mm. You're not a human anymore. Please be advised that demons do follow you, whatever you do in the past. This is advice from Toxic Tom. It's just the fine print. Listen, do whatever you can say that I'm just kidding. Do whatever the fuck you want. Listen, demons don't have to follow you unless them ones that you get, um, you know, career ending injuries and whatnot. Mm. And, them man out there, mm. they, they know what I'm talking about. You know them injuries that you can't play no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So obviously, if you enjoyed this podcast, send the money. You know, we've been wearing the same clothes for about three months now. Oh, you've guys, seen it. I want, I want a new, I want a new top, guys. Um, I'm doing, we're doing sliders France next year. Uh, it's just me that's going. Pardon? Um, yeah, I'm a part of these niggas. So what are you doing in France, Tom? I'm just traveling to a couple of cities. Okay. Anyway, I'm doing sliders France next year. I'm doing it on my own. Um. Is France read this? No idea. Is France what? I don't think so. No idea. Bro, we're doing, we're doing Silas France October. October? I said it. That's, a, that's, 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 that's a few weeks. I co-signed. We're doing it in October. I think it's got to be quick. And I'm doing it next year. Um, Guys, make sure you, if you want to donate to me. Message oh wait, me. I'm not fully vaccinated. Sorry. Well, well it's, it's, it's a good thing be. I'm not going with you anyway. Oh, but, I mean, <laughs> oh. Are you wait. half vaccinated? Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yup. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend that's a bitch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> follow up, like our page on Facebook. Mm. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Um, Tap's going to start releasing TikToks on the page soon anyway. Um, I'm correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Cool. So I think Mo is as well. I'm correct? Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening. Um, again, Tap's a bitch. And um, I've been your host, What Is Tom, Find Out in the Streets, aka yeah, Tough Superior, aka Toxic Is The Way Forward, aka <laughs> the guy that your man's scared of. All right. Then. And then who else have you had? Uh, it's been your host, uh, Where's Mo? Found him on the pod. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not toxic, but. Uh... <laughs> More of the find the love of your life, settle down and move on with your life kind of thing. 
So what's up? Today. I tried to be original with your outro talk, but I'm getting tired of I mean, I'll right? try, but you know, you guys are so inspirational. I had to copy you guys. And it's who's tough. Got it from these guys. AKA <laughs> <laughs> uh, the champion. I mean, I still have that, right? <laughs> 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 and, you know, sliding out. <laughs> <laughs>